Chris. Hey guys, this is Andre Winner, and you're watching MMA B. Okay, Andre, so your last fight, UFC 105, uh, Roldy Delgado made a very impressive debut. Can you give us your thoughts on the fight and how it went? Um, the fights weren't more or less the plan. I mean, nothing ever goes perfect. Um, but, yeah, like I said, um, I kept the fight standing. Um, that's where I wanted to keep it. Um, I knew that he'd, he'd circle out to um, his left, so I'd use my right hand. Um, I caught him at the start of the fight, and... Um, from there I knew I had the power and um, I knew that, that, that the punch was there for myself so I just took my time um, to find a punch again and um, luckily for me I found it. Okay, do you think you <coughs> made a, a statement with the with the nature of the win, you know, the, the devastating knockout that you delivered? Not really, I mean, I know I, know I can hit and uh, there's a lot of guys in the UFC that can do it, I mean there's knockouts all the time so I don't really look too much into it. Um, it's what I expect of myself anyway. I know I can do that to people in 16 ounce gloves if I wanted to, so um, I, I don't really look at it too much like a statement out there. Um, there's a lot of good fighters in the UFC, so um, that's past me now. I got that fight out of the way, so I'll just move on to my next one. I don't really put too much thought into it. Okay, you actually got into the UFC through the Ultimate Fighter House, like mm -hmm. many fighters these days. Um, how did you find your time in the house? I enjoyed it, it was amazing. I mean, being in the house, it can get boring at times, but when you look back on it, I think like most things in life for people, um, you know I mean, you really appreciate it when you don't have it anymore. Um, it was a great place to train, we had excellent training, you know I mean, Mike is a great person, um, Dave and Mario, they were great coaches also, um, they really were there for us and really put a lot of time and effort into us, so I really enjoyed it, I mean, all the guys in the house, um, obviously the, us as Team UK, we had a great bond, but even the guys from Team US, I got along with all of them and um, it was a great place to be, to train and develop your skills. Okay, was the house as crazy as everyone says coming out? Um, it wasn't that bad. Um, the show made it look as if there was like more rivalry when there wasn't as much and um, it made it look a little more boring in the house. I mean, we had jokes. I, I, like, like I say, we had um, boring times. I'm sure everyone got a little bit homesick at times, but... Um, <laughs> we, had, we had a couple of drunken nights. Okay, uh, you're fighting next at UFC Fight Night 21 yeah. on March 31st. What's it going to be like fighting in the States again? Um, like fighting anywhere else. <laughs> it's the same as any other cage to, myself, to, to me. Um, to be honest with you, when you get in the cage, you forget about most of the things out there. I mean, you got to concentrate on your fight. I mean, it's going to be great to go back out to the US, see the US fans, because I did get a lot of love and support last time I was out there. So I'm looking forward to um, meeting the US fans again. But, you know, I mean, I'm there for business, so get the job done. Okay, you were originally set to fight Carl Miller, but it's now being reported that he's, he's picked up an injury. It's mm -hmm. also being reported that you might be fighting Rafael Oliveira in the fight. Um, yeah, I've heard, I've heard rumours of that. Um, if it turns out to be true, um, should be an exciting fight. Um, I've seen him previously. I've seen him fight previously. Um, it was an exciting fight. So you know, I mean, he's a BJJ black belt and um, he's he's aggressive. So I mean, I'm 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 no joke for anyone. So I I'm I'm, I'm always looking forward to whoever I fight. Okay. Now Miller and Oliveira have got similar backgrounds. If you, if you are actually fighting Oliveira, will you have to change up your your training camp at all? Change your strategy? Um. I just do what I do. I always try, I, I, I'm a well-rounded fighter. I train my ground. I train my wrestling. Obviously, I train my stand-up. So I just um, do what I'm doing. If the fight is changed, then there may be a few tweaks to my um, training. But generally, I go out there and I'm going to try and impose my game. Shut down what they do and impose my game on them. So really, my, my, my mindset and my game plan doesn't really change. Maybe just tweak it here and there for the fighter. Okay, you're four weeks out from the fight. How's mm -hmm. your training camp been going? Um, um, my training camp's gone well. Um, I really enjoy training. I uh, felt my skills improving. And um, I'm very confident. I feel strong. I feel fit, relaxed. So I'm looking forward to it. I feel good at this point. I could can, I can probably go right now. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what I'll be like in four weeks' time. Okay, and Rough House teammates, uh, Dan Hardy and Paul Semtex Day, and you've got big fights coming up. What's your take on, firstly, Paul's fight against Josh Koscheck and Dan's title fight against George St. Pierre? 
Um, Paul's fighting as Kostjak should be interesting. I mean, if Kostjak is smart, he'll try to wrestle Paul, but um, Paul's got good wrestling. A lot of people don't realise that. I mean, being from the UK, we get bashed a lot for um, for the wrestling side of things, but um, Paul's, Paul's a decent wrestler himself. Well, stopping the takedowns anyway. You know what I mean? Kostjak could probably, well, would beat him in a wrestling match, but it's not wrestling in summer May. Um, I think people... F um, We'll see that it'll be a lot harder to take Paul down than what people actually think. Um, as far as Kostjek running his mouth about saying he wants to stand up with Paul, that's a bad move because he's going to get knocked out if he tries it. Um, as far as Dan's fight against USP, that's a tough fight. But I think the longer the fight goes, <clears throat> the more Dan will impose his will. I think GSP will find it tough to finish the Dan, to finish Dan. And um, I think a lot of people are going to be su surprised with Dan. He's going to come out there and I think he's going to um, just put the pace on GSP and um, really put a beating on him. Okay, good luck in your fight on March 31st. Have you got any sponsors you want to mention before we finish? No, not at the moment. <laughs> okay.